Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve one very interesting equation, a nice equation given by x plus x y plus y equals to sixty four, and we have to seek the solution or we have to find the solution x plus y where x and y are positive integers as is given. So we have to seek the solution in terms of positive integers only. Since x and y are positive integers, what is the definition of positive integer? That means if x is positive integer, if x will be greater than equals to sorry, x will be greater than zero, and y will be greater than zero. Okay, or we can say that x greater than equals to one and y greater than equals to one. This also we can see. Say either x greater than zero, y greater than zero, or x greater than equals to one and y greater than equals to one. So how we can solve this? We can take this equation x plus x y plus y equals to sixty four, and we can use many other methods. There are several methods of solving this. First of all, we have to factorize the left hand side. So what we can take? We can take first two term and we can take common x. So what we'll get x into one plus y. Plus y equals sixty four. Now, since in first term y plus one is there, that is y plus one. What we can do? We can take in the second term also y plus one. How? Since it is y plus zero, we can take y plus one minus one, and right hand side sixty four as it is. Now what we can do is x common y plus one plus we can retain or we can keep y plus one this side and we can take one to that side. So what we'll get sixty four plus one. Now we can see that here y plus one and here y plus one common. So what we can take y plus one common from both the terms and remaining will be from first term we'll get. X common, and second term we will get one common, and this side will be sixty four plus one sixty five. So we are getting x plus one multiplied by y plus one equals to sixty five. Now we have to find what is x and what is y in terms of positive integer. So with it, so that we can add it, we have to find x plus y so that we can add it. First of all, we have to find what is x and what is y. Now what we can do, since it is given x and y are positive integers, that means x is greater than equals to one. X value starts from one, and y value starts from one. So we can clearly see that if x value starts from one, then x plus one value will definitely start from two, and y plus one value will definitely start from two. Okay. Now we can factorize sixty five. Sixty five can be factorized as is multiple is one multiplied by five multiplied by thirteen. Okay, these are the only multiples of sixty five. That means sixty five can be written as one multiplied by thirteen. Thirteen, sorry. Five multiplied by thirteen, thirteen multiplied by five, or sixty-five multiplied by one, and one multiplied by sixty-five. These four options are only there. So now what we can do? Since sixty-five is written as x plus one and y plus one. X plus one and y plus one will be either of these four options. So one by one we can check. Since x plus one will definitely start from two, so this one cannot be the case of x plus one, neither y plus one. Okay, x plus one cannot be this, and y plus one cannot be this, since those values starts from two. So this cannot be the case, and this cannot be the case. Only case possible are these two. Okay, understood. Now what we can do? 
we can take either x plus 1 we have two cases either x plus 1 is 5 and y plus 1 is 13 or another case is x plus 1 is 13 and y plus 1 is 5 these two cases are only possible from which we can get x equals to 5 minus 1 is 4 and y equals to 13 minus 1 is 12 this is one case and other case is x equals 13 minus 1 is 12 and y equals to 5 minus 1 is 4 so these two cases are only possible but our question is what is x plus y so in either of the case we can see that x plus y is 4 plus 12 is 16 and here also x plus y is 12 plus 4 is 16 so in either of the case our answer x plus y is either 4 plus 12 or 12 plus 4 and both answer are 16 okay so our answer is x plus y is 16 so we can see that here our question is this one so we can write the answer x plus y as 16 okay so if you have enjoyed the question solving and you have understood it so please subscribe to my channel and also like the video and share the video thank you